Welcome back to The Grind for another Act 6 completion video, this time against Crossbones. Now, this is free to play and it is with a limited roster from way back when I stopped playing two years ago, so I am limited, but I do have Doom, which I got when I first opened my crystals upon returning. So he has been very helpful to my progression since I returned. Now I took this path on the far left, which I definitely feel like was fairly easy. The buffs on each one are a little bit different, so check them out and make sure you have the right champions. Now the local node for Crossbones is Biohazard and Vigor. So with Biohazard, every time you hit him, there's a 20% chance to get a bleed. And if you hit him while he's blocking, there's a 50% chance to get a poison. So you don't need a poison immune champion if you're able to avoid hitting him while blocking, but it's very challenging to do this without a bleed immune champion. Unfortunately for me, with my very limited roster, I don't really have very good bleed immune champions or any that are leveled up high enough to make this fight easy. So I relied heavily on the villain status and using Blade to avoid as much bleed as possible. And then with Vigor, basically every 15 seconds he regenerates a significant amount of health, so if you don't have a way to nullify it or prevent it, then the best way to avoid it is to just quit the fight at that point. Now the global nodes are power struggles, so the attacker cannot gain power by regular means, and the only way to gain power is once the defender crosses over a full bar of power, then you will get that bar of power but if they use a special attack they will drain the amount of power from you now i actually found this node fairly annoying but if you don't rely on your special attacks then it doesn't really affect you that much so you'll just have to get used to fighting this way so practice a couple times and you'll get a hang of it now unfortunately i don't have all the clips from these fights but i believe i only fought him a few times either two or three times before i revived to get him down to this amount of health. Unfortunately, my only uh, champion that is bleed immune that is rank three or higher is Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider is rank four, thankfully. But you can see without the bleed immunity, the champions just die so fast. And so unless you have a very bursty champion or one that is bleed immune or ways to heal back the health, then the champions just die real fast. I did want to test all these champions out just to see if I could make use of it, but unfortunately I didn't gain a whole lot of benefit. I would get those bleed stacks pretty quick, and so my health would drain really quickly. And even with um, one bleed stack from the start of the fight, Doom died eventually. Now, the best champions that I used for this fight were Blade and Ghost Rider. They actually did most of the work Ghost Rider because Ghost Rider is bleed immune, so I was able to stay in the fight significantly longer, and I was able to nullify at least one, sometimes two, of the heals from Vigor, which allowed the fight to last even longer. Whereas with Blade, I was able to avoid several of the bleed stacks because of his villain status, but I had to quit out of the fight if he ever triggered a Vigor stack. The other benefit of Blade is even when he did get the bleed stacks, he was able to heal back enough health to outlast that bleed. But once again, after the 15 seconds when the Vigor stack, uh, when the Vigor buff procced, then I had to quit the fight because I was just, there was no way I was able to out damage that heal. The other nice thing about Ghost Rider is that after nullifying the first buff of Vigor and getting rid of that heal, the Vigor timer does not come back right away. And actually, it stayed away for about 30 seconds before the timer started again, and then it took 15 seconds for that heal to start. And if you're able to get up to a three bars of power with Ghost Rider, then you can add another debuff which prevents healing even longer so ghost rider is a fairly solid champion for this fight the only downside is that he lacks a lot of damage that other champions have to offer but overall being able to stay in the fight significantly longer i was able to do most of the damage with ghost rider as one of my top champions for this fight but even after all that time, I was only able to get 12% down from that fight. I did do another full team revive because it is cheaper per champion. And I felt like if I was able to get 
a few percent down with each of the champions that are not bleed immune or that is not blade then it would overall be beneficial i also wanted to give them all another chance to see if i could burst a little bit of extra health um off of crossbones in that first 15 seconds so i'll let you watch out the rest of this gameplay i hope it was helpful to see a little bit of a workaround without ideally using some of the better bleed immune champions in the game because i don't have access to them yet but i only had to spend about 300 to 350 units to complete this fight and this map which for one of the hardest bosses of act six chapter one i don't think that is too terrible and all things considered i spent about 1000 units to get this full run through of act six chapter one and get cavalier status so i think it was worth it for me but maybe not in regards to completing the entire chapter so let me know which champions you used or which champions you know of to be the best ones for this fight and hopefully i'll get lucky and get those in the near future so that i can use them when i come back around to doing this for full completion but until I do get some of those more solid champions, I think I'm going to stay away from that for now. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.